Welcome to Channel 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is another Factorio Noob video. We're going to be covering a little bit more about belts and how they interact with each other. Um, this was a follow-up on an idea like this, where we've got the, um, the lane balancer, where any single product dropped on one side is going to uh, be dropped forcibly on both sides, one for each. And there you can see one lane full comes out with two lanes full on the other end. There are some other ways to do it, but none, well, there's a million ways to do everything. So here are some other uh, diagrams that you can see. And I'm going to cheat here a little bit and use my robots to place these guys. This is a way of um, combining some material. And the problem is it doesn't do a balance on both sides, kind of like what we saw with the iron and the coal, anything that comes on here is going to, um, let's see, I'll just drop a couple on the top, three on the top, three on the bottom, and what we get is the first one on the top and then the, all four on the bottom because of the way they were distributed, uh, one, 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 and, and then uh, two of them were dropped on the bottom line and added to that. So. Um, that's where the math comes in. I don't know if that was real clear. Um, let me try that one more time. If we've got two on the top, what's going to happen is one is going to be shunted to the bottom and placed on the bottom. If we have two on the bottom, they are both going to be placed on the bottom because one got shunted over and then returned back to the bottom. So let's do it with four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top and we get a pretty even distribution, but when we place them on the bottom, we get a very uneven distribution because it doesn't split anything. So really, it's only balancing half the lane. Um, the other way is that you can see um, some of these other similar patterns. When you've got an elbow, it will help balance a little bit, helping balance a little bit, but because we're not specifically dumping it to two sides of the lane, it's not a real great model. So hope you understand a little bit more about splitters and belts there. Let's go into some other things, of course. If we want a corner, you rotate and bring it down. Um, one thing I've seen a lot of new players have trouble with is remembering how to turn a corner. They will want to come like that. Remember that the, the belt has to kind of dump on two. So if we dump it on two, then it automatically changes to a corner. Um, otherwise, what we're doing is we're taking it past that belt and we don't really pull it from there. So same here, if we, uh, and, and often that diagram you can see right there helps. It's straight here, but it's turned there, curved there. Now, um, one of the other things that's important is if I do this, it's showing straight. Well, yes, the piece I place will be straight, but this one can't curve both left and right at the same time. So it's going to be a lane specific belt drop. So everything coming on this lane, this belt is going to be only on that lane and the same on this side. So I'll demonstrate real quick with some coal over here. No matter where you put it over here, it's going to end up on this left lane and some rock over here. No matter which lane I put it on, it's always going to end up on this side. That gives us a nice, clean, predictable um, way to do it, but it's important to know and to understand. Um, we can build back here, and that's another way, um, another thing that's important to realize is how we get the difference between a rotation and not a rotation. So notice if I place it here, it's going to actually change the end of the, the one that it's next to. But because I've already moved it over, this is actually just going to drop onto it um, as though we're feeding it like that. If, however, I delete this, all of a sudden it changes to an elbow because it's right there on the end. So again, covering that in a repeat, if I'm placing on the end, it always becomes an elbow. If I've got something that I'm going to join in the middle, it does not become an elbow unless it becomes the end like that. Hope that helps. It's confusing. Keep it up, and I know you can do it. Thanks for watching, and leave me some, uh, some comments if you'd like.